in the locker room. Have you seen my pom-poms? No. Would you like to? It's a big game today. We're out of sync. I'm trying to get pumped up. Oh, That's on, what I'm here guys, for. Come on. We're, We're out of sync. Oh. We are out of sync. Oh. Mm. It's a big game today. I'm trying to get pumped up. That's what I'm here for. I'd do anything to win the big game. Oh! Hey. Oh. 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 You looking for someone? Jack Hammer. Who the hell wants to know? Sometimes a little chaos can be good for you. This woman's a genius. How do I know I'm making the right choice? If you make it, it's wrong. You can't just sit around waiting for Mr. Perfect. How about Mr. Okay for the time Listen, being? sweetie, loneliness can make us do some really stupid things. You gotta take a good look at yourself and say, what am I really looking for? My briefcase. It's there. You'll find it. And you deserve it. for Mr. Hammer? So? I understand he makes movies here. Sometimes. Do you expect him? He's in and out. Do you have a phone? Down the hall. Look, man, it's just a job for me. You know, I just project the stuff. I don't actually watch it. See, it's really not my style. I'm more the family man type. The phone? Okay. I get the crap beat up, then. And he picks himself up and splits. Now, where did he go? Who? What? Jack Hammer? Do I know you? Do you mind? This is private. Yeah, well, the phone's public. I represent the man who owns the building. Jack Hammer's gone. Yoo hoo. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, he was all bloody and stuff, and the guy just ran out of here, you know, he didn't want no doctor and nothing, you know, it's just. Tom Russell, it's me. It's about time. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, you got a lot of messages. I forget the messages. We have a problem with the Seldes case. Uh, the problem was taking the case in the first place. Uh, by the way, three of the calls were him. Russell, Russell, I got no time for this. Our key witnesses disappeared. Great. What do we do now? Yeah, well, what about the police? Check with them. Anybody else? And the hospitals. He had his face smashed in, for God's sake. Look, I gotta go. I'm having lunch with a client. Uh huh. Restaurant? <laughs> Never mind which restaurant. I'll call you later. Bye. Hi. Counselor? What you got? Lunch. Table for two? With a view. 
This pan roll is fantastic. Where'd you find this place? Here, take another one. Stephen, don't worry. He's not our only witness. We'll find others who'll testify. <laughs> what I want to know is how you could rent a property to anybody calling himself Jack Hammer. That's what I want to know. I have buildings all over town. I don't know what goes on in half of them. He was casting minors. I got a teenage daughter, for Christ's sake. If this thing drags on much yeah, the longer... the next week. We'll win. You'll see. Well, I may pick lousy tenants, but boy, when it comes to lawyers, huh? It's the best. Few rules in my life. Never get involved with a client. Never get involved with a married man. Uh, uh, uh. Married in name only, pie face. Never get involved with anyone who calls me pie face. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. This is a business lunch. You gonna bill me for this? <laughs> yep. Anyway, I have to track down a new witness, don't I? How about tonight? I don't know when I'll be home. I'll wait. I can let myself out and see. Liability here. You can't show defraud by the officers in Hi, Nina. Hello. Mrs. Bodex here. Is that her? Mm-hmm. Or they're going to get it anyway, aren't they? Well, we don't quite see it that way. Your last offer is no longer on the table. John, you and I have been on opposite sides. Mrs. Bodek, yes. I'm Stephen Seldy's lawyer. I really don't think you should be here. Neither do I. You're a woman. <laughs> Times change. They keep saying some things don't change. Having children, the pain they cause, that doesn't change. I know. You have children? No. And how can you say that? What is it, the money? Is that why you're trying to get him off? My client's innocent. The state brought charges simply because he owns the warehouse where the film was... God, you're lying! I'm not. Ask him! I have. Mrs. Bodek, using minors and material like that is a crime, and it should be punished. It will be. I went there to see it. I sat there. It made me sick. It made me... Somehow, some way, we will get over this. God will see to it. I know he will. But if my husband does something, something that can't be forgiven, if my husband kills someone... I brought these photographs. He doesn't like to have his picture taken. He's gone crazy, just plain crazy. And I can't talk to him anymore. That Mr. Seldes... You tell him to protect himself. You tell him to be careful. And if he has any feelings about what he's done, any feelings at all, you... Thank you for waiting. May I take that message now? Yes. Tomorrow's deposition. Good morning. Weatherford, Randall, Braddock, and Dunn. I'm sorry, Mr. Taylor. He's in court this morning. Would you like to leave a message? This is the deposition of Harold Weinstein, a.k.a. Bulldozer. Present is my client, Stephen Seldes, a defendant in case number A036258, People versus Seldes et al. How'd you find out about Weinstein? Bull. Call me Bull. Bulldozer. Mr. Dozer slash Weinstein has agreed to have his deposition taken and is here on his own volition without counsel. That's right. Mr. Dozer, you appeared in a film released last year called... Nudes on the Moon? I was starring in it. Released through Blue Screen Productions? Yeah. Could you tell me where the movie was shot? Sure, in a warehouse on 3rd Street, downtown. The address? Well, you go down... God, I've been going there so long, I forget. It's Brown. Could it be 849 East 3rd? Next to Mama's Takeout Mexican Deli? The address is 849 East 3rd Street. I had lunch there. Try the chorizo. Regarding other cast members, did you work with an actress named Cindy? Sure. Cindy Bodek. I guess so. She's mostly with the Dykes in the beginning. Do 
you see the picture? No. It's a fantasy with special effects. And Cindy Bodek was in that scene? With some others. Is that a yes? Yeah, is she really only 14? Her old man practically killed Jack. Yikes! Um, well, at any time during filming, or before or after filming, during editing, did you ever see the man on my left? No. Did you ever hear the name Stephen Seldes connected to Blue Screen Productions? No. You don't recognize his face. I never seen him. Thelma? Thelma Newton? Thelma Newton Catwella? DK! Say it's you! Say it! Ella, you! Just when I hit the sale as a Bullock's, <laughs> their linen department is unbeatable. It is unbeatable. And I thought, well, I just have lunch here for a change, you know, just to buy it, then home to Woodland Hills. That's incredible. I've been hearing a lot about you. Really? Is your office in the neighborhood? Yeah, yeah. it is. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. How long has it been? Oh, ages. Not since I left school and got married. Someone from Philly, uh -huh. right? I knew it. <laughs> oh, you, you look, look great. great. <laughs> no, but I mean, really, you do. Really? I don't believe what they charge for this salad. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Oh, <laughs> yes, I have. You can't raise a child and keep a marriage glued together for 20 years without 20 changing. Years. 20 years, yeah. yes. Guess it's time for pictures. Mm. You know, come to dinner tomorrow night. Oh, I can't have a date. You're not married? No. Nope. Prospects? No, not really. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, I mean, at Smith, you hardly had time for boys. Oh, yeah. yeah well. Oh, well, never mind. Here. This is Jenna. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Thank you. And here's Stephen. Isn't it a riot? Excuse me. What is it? Your contacts? I don't know, my lash maybe. I, all of a sudden there was this horrific pain. Well, let me see. You tilt your head back toward the light. You shot even oh. like a scalded cat. Oh. Isn't it a hoot about Stephen? What a coincidence. Isn't it? There's oh. a little bitty speck right there in the corner. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Use lots of water. When he finally got around to mentioning who was representing him. Oh, when was it? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. In this awful mess. I think I got it. Good. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Oh, what the heck? As long as we're here. You never answered me. About what? Stephen. Oh, yeah. A hoot. Isn't it? Yeah. After all this time, and you being my best friend, even after all this time, you've got to come to dinner. Bring your date. You can see the house, get to know Stephen better, meet Jana. She's the light of our lives. I'm not taking no for an answer. Hmm. Yeah. Work. Old lady, the green. Too masculine, the black. Too guilty. The orange, too flashy. The brown, why'd you ever buy the brown? The yellow, too yellow. The print, too young. The red, too young? The print's too young. Just signed the confession and skipped dinner. Casa Serena. <laughs> Hello, Eleanor. Where is he? Your date, where is he? Oh, I, he did, couldn't make it. 
Hello. Hi. Can I get you another one? Yes, please. Uh, Thanks. The room's stunning. It's a, it's a stunning room. Thank you. You must keep it hermetically sealed. What? <laughs> it's spotless. It's just absolutely spotless. It's amazing. Have you tried my guacamole? No, it looks great. You look fabulous. Doesn't she look great? Yeah, she does. Thanks. Mm. Come on, honey. This is Jana. Hello. Hi. Jana's going to Smith, like us. Oh, is she? Uh-huh. You found us okay? Yeah, uh, there's a lake. There's a golf course, too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a lake. There wasn't. It's new. <laughs> Everything is very well thought out. I can see that. Smith, huh? So what are you majoring in? She's going to be an architect. Who are you? She'll design them or daddy will build them. Sell these and sell these. We'll set the world on fire. Oh, pie face. I don't believe I did that. Hey, let me get something. Don't bother. You're not going to do anything? Let's go into dinner. It's delicious. It was too delicious. Your daddy's lawyer? Yep. What are you doing here? What? Is everything all right? Jen, I think you'll be well, in is it? I don't think we have to worry. Then why are you here? She's my friend. I told you she'd be coming back. I know you See? told me. I just think that we should get someone a little bit more professional. That's, that's all. I don't like the way... I said that's enough. I'll help you clear. Do you remember Mr. Crowder? English lit. First thing Monday morning. Everyone covered in chalk dust and dandruff and farted all the time. God. That was terrible. I had to skip breakfast. You know, I hardly ever remember back to then. Was it fun? It was fun, wasn't it? Not so much. But you, maybe. You were brighter. I don't know about bright. Did you ever get married? To John? Yes. Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. He farted all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they usually do, eventually. <laughs> Which do you think is worse? When they just slip it by or they just flat out do it? <laughs> oh, gee. I don't know. Slipping it by always strikes me as slightly effeminate. <laughs> Stephen just... Mm. Stephen what? Here. Put this in the dishwasher. <laughs> Oh, it's like being roommates again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it was fun. Hmm. I've really got to be going. Did you ever have any children? No, not really. I had um, an abortion. We were young, I guess, and getting not so young, and I had to make a decision. John was okay in the long run. It's been a long run. I love you. Yeah. Whoops. You better put your top up. It's cold. I don't have a top. What happened? I had lunch on 3rd Street. Well, I'll get you one of Ellie's sweaters. No, thanks. You'll freeze. Here. I'll pick it up later. Look, I know how you feel. I'm sorry. We'll talk about it tomorrow. No, we won't. I'll call you. Don't. You are so silly. Stupid. I think the word is stupid.
what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? I can't remember names anymore. No more. Never, ever, the end finished. Lyle. <sighs> Jesus, what's wrong with me? His name was Lyle. God, I was crazy. What am I talking to myself? One of the reasons I never looked you up, Ellie, is you always have this knack for making me feel guilty. She's so sweet. Crazy. Nobody could be that sweet. They'd be dead of hypoglycemia. Stop it. God, how'd I get myself into this? You're dodging. My key. I want my key. Well, what about my case? You want me to continue representing you? That we can discuss, yeah. Hang on a minute. Uh, no, no, Jamie's handling that. I'm back. No, not my place. Your office. Whenever, as long as it's today, this afternoon? No, I can't do it this afternoon. All right, after work, tonight. Russell, haven't you gone home yet? No, I'm swamped. Look, will you do me a favor? I'm running late for my dinner with Kavanaugh, and I didn't bring his number. So where is it? Uh, it's on my Rolodex. Do you mind? Sorry, I'm late. We won't have much time. Expecting someone? Yes. To audition? For what? We will screen productions. What's the problem? Where are you going? Fire! Hey! Fire! Fire! You pervert! What is wrong with What's you? What's wrong? What? Hey! Would you want to go to jail? You're going to jail!
Okay, now, Stephen, can, can you hear me? Pick it up. Oh, God, Stephen, are you all right? Now, what do I do? Stephen? Steven? I got a few questions. Look, I already, they, they took my statement, okay? Yeah, I know. You came here on business, right? He spoke, he was my client and we were going to trial. Mm -hmm. What business? What? What business? Uh, the, you know, the usual, the loose ends that we were, uh, he was worried. About what? That's why I came to find out. Well, he was right to be worried. And? I found him. Here. Thanks. I found him and I called you and you came. You used the phone on his desk? I've been, um, you know, I've been through all this. I can't. You saw the office. You looked in the men's room. Why'd you do that? I don't know. The blood, I, um... I thought he might be hurt. How was he hurt? Well, we'll have to wait for the coroner's report, but you did see the blood, though, right? In the hallway? And yeah. then you followed it to the men's room? Yeah, yeah. No. No, it was dark. Dim. I heard running water. 
How's your head? It's fine. I just, um, I slipped. It was, um, I panicked. Ice cubes. Well, you can go. You okay to drive? Yeah, I'm fine. You're gonna be around, right? Hey. To the road. Yeah, Nina. Mrs. Seldy's on the line. She says it's important. Thanks. You tell? Were you the arresting officer? Guilty. Did you get any sleep, counselor? I want to see my client. Seldy's. Yes. Does she know the charges? Well, they're pretty easy to figure out. Like? Dead husband. And how did he die? Unwillingly. Do we have an attitude problem here? Not that I know of. Then what's going on? Look, here's a copy of the report. It's all preliminary, pretty general stuff. Stab wounds, broken nose. Possibly choked on his own blood. And possibly not. The weapon? Oh, there'll be a weapon. I promise. You didn't find it? Well, they generally don't leave him laying around, people who do stuff like this. Send Sildes into 308, please. All right. Uh, Russell Page. Yeah? How many calls did you make last night? What? Russell Page, an assistant in your office, received a call? Yeah, sure. About a dinner appointment? Sure. Where'd you make that call? From my car. Right. Busy woman. Very. Did they say why they arrested you? They just came. I had to take Jana next door. They weren't even up yet. We just stood around the front yard, half naked. Well, what did they say? That I killed Stephen. All right, look. Last night when it happened, where were you? Driving. Just driving? Alone? Is that a crime? No. When you were driving, did you stop anywhere for gas, cigarettes? I didn't stop anywhere. All right, when you got home, did you make any phone calls? Did you speak to anyone? Someone could have called. I fell asleep. Don't suppose I could get a cigarette somewhere, do you? I'll arrange bail. You'll represent me then? No, I can't. My being a material witness makes that difficult, to say the least. I'll find someone. If it's a question of money. Money's I... not the point. Money's always the point. With you, it is. Where was Jana during all this? Out. Well, when she came home, did she wake you? The sun. The sun woke me. 
How'd you suppose this would have got there? That's why they came. They found my sweater. Type this, will you? Can't it be done in the morning? I want to file it first thing in the morning. Do you really think they're going to give her bail? Do it, Russell! Just do it! Hey, don't take your guilt out on me. What guilt? You were sleeping with her husband, so what? It's my fault. I'm responsible. For what? You didn't kill the guy. I'm responsible for everything else. Did you tell the police? About the affair? Now you're a material witness. They could haul you down there. Arrest and... me. Disbar me. I know. I thought of me, that's all. I just... <laughs> I was scared. I was confused. All I could think of was how I'd... Uh, how I'd ruin myself. <laughs> then they arrested Ellie. What are you gonna do? Call the police, get it over with. Uh, that's a terrific idea. If you're into self-destruction, then you're no good to Mrs. Seldes or yourself. Boy, it was a mess. We had a hell of a time getting an accurate count. What? The wounds, same angle, same area. We finally came up with 18. It was like he just sat there, let it happen. Leave me alone. Are you all right? Can I help? I'm TK. I Cal know who you are. He'll kill us both if he comes back. Why would he kill us? Because he, he knows I talk to you. He knows. 
know she'll come after him. He's gone off again. I don't know how soon he's coming back. Did he kill Stephen? Talk to Jack for me. Jack Hammer. Miss Ham, sorry. It wasn't my fault my pa found out. And ask him. Maybe I can come back. They were real nice to me. I'm real sorry about Stephen. You knew Stephen? I've never been treated so good before. I'm going crazy right now. In court all day, campaigning half the night. There's a four o'clock deadline or the posters won't make the fundraising. How's the Seldes case coming? Uh, it's getting there. Am I going to have anything to prosecute? I wouldn't bet on it. Here, check these out. Which do you think? Wow, you look younger when you smile. Yeah, I know. Look, maybe I can get a delay. What, till after the election? The DA has handed me a real turd, man. Well, he's afraid you're gonna beat McGuire. So you got anything on Seldes? Mm. She's clean, and she's southern. Christ. It's gonna look like I'm still marching on Seldes. Mattel! Mattel! I've been calling your office. Oh, hi, Bill. Hi. Which one? For posters? You look younger when you smile. Did they tell you? What? That I called. I shouldn't be listening to this. Bodex disappeared. So? So put out an APB. What do you need, for God's sake? He's already beaten his wife and another... He doesn't witness. strike me as the kind of guy who's going to give somebody time out before he finishes the job. I'm sure all this makes perfect sense to you. Ice cubes. Seldy's nose was busted. He used them to stop the bleeding. Now, Bodak was going to allow him to do that? Or there were two people. Maybe. Maybe not. Look, whatever happened, you've got the wrong person. Well, prove it. That's your job description. You mean you're not going to do anything? Yeah. I'm going to lunch. You're looking for it. Mr. Monroe, you claim to have the best conviction, right, in the DA's office. It's not a claim, it's a fact. I don't spend taxpayers' money if I'm not going to get a conviction. Two double martinis, rocks, no olives. Scotch your water! Scotch your water. a date at 10. You'll never make it. 11? Better. Watch my drink. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so much. I promise the speech will be later. But there's a meter off the hook. hearings Thursday. What then? Bail, you're not a danger to the general public. Ellie. Hmm? Damn it, every time I say something, I either have to repeat myself or wave my hand in front of your face. Sorry. Listen to me. When I first saw you, met you again. Oh, damn it. Stephen and I were... 
I didn't know about you. I'm sorry. I do things sometimes. Often, without thinking, without asking too many questions. I look at you and I see how much of my life has passed. Don't get me wrong, you look great. You do, great. It's me. I want to put an end to this. No. The night I was at your house when I was with Stephen. No, was, will you please shut up and listen? I killed him. <laughs> Are you nuts? I could be. Insanity is a popular defense these days. What are you doing? Pleading guilty. Oh, no, you're not. Then I'll get another lawyer. Great, I'll recommend one. And how much will they be? Face it, Eleanor, you're cheap. Cheap? Yeah. Cheap. I, in school, all I remember were drawers full of panties with the elastic shot. Get out of here. I am pleading guilty, and nothing you can say or do is going to change that. Who are you protecting? No one. You're lying. You always were a lousy actress. I was not. Oh, please. I saw the junior play. I thought that's why you left college. <gasps> Do not leave this room until you tell me the truth. I was very good in that play. I saved the reviews to prove it. Who are you protecting? You know, what makes you think you're so smart? What makes you think you know everything, Miss Smarty Pants, Miss Everybody's Favorite? You haven't changed a hair. go to the beach. I brought some suits. Aren't you embarrassed by this car? I'm having it painted. It's a mess. Your mother said she must be a mess. She is. I'm not a mess. I'm living with people I don't even know. It won't be for long. I hate it. What's that noise? make these things? Probably not. My girlfriends have better cars than this. What is it? A classic. Here, we can change under our towels. Like surfers, huh? father is a lawyer and he has a Mercedes. She has a BMW. Let me ask you a question. The night your dad died, where were you? He didn't die, he was murdered. Where were you? A movie? By yourself? Why are you asking? Your mom just said My that... My mother killed him. No. She hasn't told you? She didn't kill him. Jesus. Just raise the red ones. That's all? Now the blue. What color do you call this? Brown. I already got it brown. It's kind of brownish purpley. It's puce. When's liftoff? We're getting there. Puce.
Mr. Budak? You defended him. You know better than he was. Mr. Bodek, what do you want? I want to talk. Where can we meet? Um, uh, someplace public. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Hollywood. And you're Western. All right. Uh, there's a restaurant near you. Um, he knows on Vine. Uh, it's almost to Willoughby. And I'll be there. Uh, you know, it should take more than about half an hour. And I'll, I'll be there. Wait, okay? Okay? Hello? Detective Butel. Oh, uh, no, never mind. Uh, wait, um, if he calls in, let him know I heard from Bodek. B-O-D-E-C-K. I'm Catwoller. K-A-T. Hang on. to let go, you understand? Not now, not now! What I tell you? Ready? Okay. Now. Stephen's murderer, right? 
You better go see Monroe. Bodek's not the guy. Oh, the guy tried to kill me. He tried to kill a police officer. That doesn't mean he killed Seldes. This is stupid. What's going on? Hey, I'm not going to drop the charges. I'm three points ahead in the polls. You know something, Monroe. What is it? Mrs. Bodak, you testified that your husband promised he would kill the man whom he held responsible for involving your daughter in the making of a pornographic film. Yes, sir. That person being Mr. Seldes. Yes, sir. He introduced her to the director. And it had sexual relations with her prior to that introduction. Yes. Mrs. Bodak, had he also threatened to kill a Luther Svoboda? Yes, sir. Who is Mr. Svoboda? His mechanic. And what was the basis for that threat? He fixed the clutch in our van and it didn't work right. <laughs> had he also threatened the life of a Mr. Henley? Yes, sir. Your next door neighbor. He kept a lot of trash lying all around and it would blow into our yard. <laughs> Mrs. Bodek, did you ever discuss the night of May 17th, the night Mr. Seldes was killed with your husband? No, there wasn't much to discuss. Why not? Sherman had been out all night. He was drunk and he didn't remember anything, anything that happened. Hello? Mr. Butel, how about a drink tonight? About 9.30? Don't worry, I'll pay the tab. Glad you could make it. Great choice for a big night out. What's this all about? Hey, you want to go see the bar? Yeah, sure, we can see the fight better. Don't tell me you're a regular in this place. No. Oh, I know what this is. Monroe's got you working on me. You must really be desperate. You were pretty sharp in court today. Oh, yeah? Why were you there? I'd like to watch you work. You back again? I knew you were a regular. Still think I'll have to testify tomorrow? Yeah. I gotta take a leak. Testify to what? Jeez, the guy's dead. Let him be. Who's dead? Sherm Bodek. What are you drinking? Uh, I'll have what he's having. What about Sherm Bodek? Like I'm supposed to remember something that happened three... Four months ago. You know where you were on May 17th? First? Yeah, sure. Except that night? I remember. Why? Was he here? Yeah. 6 30 were closing. I threw him out personally. How can you be so sure? I mean, I don't even remember last May Tuesday. May 17th. NBA championship. Lakers 103, Celtics 100. I had 50 bucks in the Lakers with Sherm. Think that bastard ever paid me? Why'd you do that for me? Hmm? No, I don't like the way Monroe plays politics. Anyway, I owed you one. How'd you find him? You well, know, Bodak was in the Merchant Marines. This is local hangout. He was my whole case. I'll have to start over. Well, thanks for letting me in on it. Just look for the truth, that's all. Detective Butel, describe what you saw when you found the body. The uh, body was slumped on the toilet in the third booth. Fully dressed? Yes, sir. Was there any indication the body had been moved? No. What was the cause of death? 
Objection. Detective Butel is not a medical expert. Sustained. You're instructed to disregard that last statement. What was the condition of the bathroom? The office men's room when you first entered it. Uh, sink was splattered with blood. There was paper towels scattered around and remains of ice cubes on the floor. Ice cubes? Yes, sir. Was there a refrigerator in Mr. Seldy's office? In the hallway. The ice tray was empty. What do these circumstances lead you to conclude? That Mr. Selly's nose was broken in his office. He used ice cubes to stem the blood. He went to the men's room for cold water and sat on the john leaning his head back. Where he was struck by his assailant? Yes, sir. Any evidence of a struggle? At that point? Yes. No. Leading you to conclude? That he knew the person who killed him. That's all. Detective Butel, do you know me? Yes, I do. How many people do you suppose we know in a lifetime? I couldn't guess. Well, try. A thousand? Probably more. Two thousand? Three? Something like that. So it would be fair to say my client is one among three thousand who knew Stephen Seldes. Yeah. Describe the condition of Mr. Seldes' office. Things were shoved around. Nothing else? There was some blood. A lot, a little? Some. So there had been a struggle? Objection, Your Honor. That's calling for speculation. Sustain. In your years of experience, what would you generally conclude if things were shoved around in an office and you found blood, some blood? That there had probably been a struggle. Ah. Were there any traces leading to the men's room? Yes, ma'am. Regarding the sweater identified as People 7, where was it found? About 30 feet south of the building on a pile of trash. It was in plain sight? Yes. Have you found the murder weapon? No. You've looked? Yes. What were you looking for? The murder weapon. Which was? A knife. What kind of knife? We never found it. The office. Which the... office? Detective Butel, wait for the question before responding. Mr. Seldy's office. We're back. Do you find it peculiar that the struggle took place there and the murder elsewhere? Somewhat. <laughs> Which side of peculiar does somewhat fall on? Very or not worth mentioning? Oh, it's worth mentioning. How tall was the victim? About six foot. But how much did he weigh? Oh, 175, maybe more. According to the coroner's report, Defendant's Exhibit C, Mr. Seldes, was six feet two and a half inches and 182 pounds. Would you please stand up, Ellie? Could you look at the defendant and tell me what you estimate her height to be? Five four, five six, maybe. Weight? 110, 115. It's not bad, give or take a few pounds. Now, let me see if I get the picture, how, how you and your department and the prosecution reconstructed the crime. We have a woman who's five, four and a half, beating up a man who's six, two and weighs a ton. Your Honor. Causing him to what? Flee her superior strength, take refuge in the men's room, sit down to catch his breath, and allow his wife in hot pursuit, I suppose, to strike him repeatedly with a weapon, whatever it was. By the way, how many times was he struck? Eighteen times. All about the neck and shoulders? No. There were two wounds in the left arm. How do you account for that? For what? That a man would allow himself to be struck with a deadly instrument 18 times without defending himself. It could have been the first blow that killed him. Or the ninth, or the eighteenth. When you arrested Mrs. Seldes the next morning, were there any signs of her being in a violent struggle, a struggle with a man fighting for his life? No. No cuts, bruises, a broken nail, perhaps? No. None of the above? No. So, we are to assume Mr. Seldes exhausted himself in the struggle while never laying a hand on her, fled to the men's room while stopping off for ice, sat down on the nearest thing at hand, and, help me here, simply gave up, threw his head back, and allowed her to hack him to death? Objection, Your Honor. Compound and argumentative. Detective Butel, do you understand the question? Yes, I do. Overruled. You may answer. I don't assume anything. Of course you don't. I understand that. 
But doesn't it seem peculiar to you that my client, supposedly having done this deed, carelessly places a devastatingly incriminating piece of evidence in plain sight in front of the building that was the scene of the crime, and yet has the presence of mind to hide a murder weapon so cleverly that it's never been found to this day? Objection. It's all very logical. It's compelling. No, really, it's, Your it's Honor, fascinating. Objection. Sustained. That's all for now. For more blood? <laughs> I had to go after you, you know that. Yeah, it was very professional. I didn't particularly enjoy it. Well, I sort of enjoyed it. Hmm. Just some kind of apology? I wanted to thank you for helping me with Bodek. It's not over yet, I still haven't found Jack Hammer. Well, it's a funny thing about evidence, you know. It cuts both ways. It proves innocence as well as guilt. I've made some terrible mistakes. I'm not going to make them again. You and Seldes. How close were you? He was my client. See you in court. Bottoms are one you gave me. The match? Do they match? Hello? I think this might be an excellent time to talk about my rings. What? It's Russell. Guess what? I found your missing police ball. He's made a very interesting career move. More movie stars are buried here than in any other cemetery in L.A. Okay, folks, if you could just step lively into the chapel. We're running a little bit behind schedule, so I'd appreciate it, okay? Jack Hammer? Yeah, who are you? I want to talk about Stephen Seldes. You're the lawyer? Yeah. I don't know who killed him. It could have been anybody. I want names. I can make you testify. What was it with you two? He was strictly into jail, babe. You really didn't know what was going on, did you? I thought that's what turns you on. No? Doesn't turn you on? What are you talking about? Ask his daughter, check into his private stock. You might get to like it. Tell me about the tapes. What tapes? I talked to Jack Hammer. He's a geek. Why do you want to bother with him? To find out. About what? Stephen. What would he know? Nobody knew anything about Stephen. Did you? What? To know about him. Why don't you go? What's wrong with you? I'm not interested, okay? This doesn't interest me. It's boring. <sighs> then I'll go. Not to you tell me. Who are you, anyway? You were nothing to Stephen. You were just some hag he was sleeping with, some cheap piece of dress. You don't have the right to do that. You're not my mother. Then why doesn't she do it? Ask her. You ask her why. 
I just want to get this whole thing over with. You ask her who killed Daddy? Ask her? Oh, God, why can't I get somebody to help me? I'll help you. You can't. I will, I'll help. You'll hate me? No. Oh, you will? Who is it? It's Jana. When she started hating me, then I guess I knew. Then she hated me because I knew. She began to flaunt it. Replacing me, she replaced me. But you know the worst part? I let her do it. She killed him, didn't she? If you allow me to show the tape, you'll be acquitted. Ellie, allow me. The court's extremely protective of abused children, and no one in their right mind will blame her for killing him. As long as there is breath in my body, I will not allow my daughter to be exposed to this. She needs to confess. It would be terrible to make her bury this. She'd never, ever recover from it. You cannot do this. I forbid it. Listen to me, damn you. I forbid it! I forbid it! Did you read the verdict, please? Title of court and cause. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Eleanor Seldes, not guilty of first-degree murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A. A felony is charged in count one of the information. I had to do this. Please understand. All right.
Stephen's keys. Guess you were more than just his lawyer, huh? This was in your car. Somebody called the station. Didn't leave a name. Better get dressed. Who put the knife in my car? Who called the police? Who killed Stephen? If you think you're protecting Jana, you're completely... She's going to be fine. Jana doesn't need protecting anymore. I knew you were sleeping with Stephen. The night you came to our house for dinner, the minute I saw you standing there dressed in white, we were miles from summer. You know, for a Phi Beta Kappa, you really are fairly stupid. Call me if you need me. How about the truth this time? Go upstairs, please, Jenna. Go upstairs. alone haven't you hurt this family enough get out of here i have to fix dinner was he worth all this stephen don't make me laugh stephen i will laugh stephen wasn't worth anything nothing don't you think i know that worth 20 years he cut 20 years out of my But he was all I had. Get out. Why are you still here? Why don't you leave? I'm sick of potatoes. But I'm still fixing them. Isn't that a joke? How many ways can you fix potatoes? Ask me. How many ways? Ask me. How many? Lots of it! Be 
people have to eat. You're acting like you weren't even a part of it. Part of what? Your life, for one thing. Stephen, Jana, part of me. Oh. oh, God. Oh, God, why do I even bother? I don't even like you. I have never liked you, well, Eleanor, from the moment I met you. Blaming the world, blaming the weather for anything, everything that happens. See what hurt is? This is hurt! See it? This is it. Hurt. Hurt. Eleanor, don't! That's hurt! See it! I just want to talk to you. Stay away from me! Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? You killed Stephen, didn't you? Didn't you? anymore. You used me, you even used your daughter. No, I wanted her free. Free of Stephen, free of me. <laughs> I went there that night to do this, and then I saw you. I killed him. I stabbed him over and over. There's no one left to blame. Just you. Time to end it, Ellie. End it. End it! I'm so sorry. I'll take care of you. My dear, sorry you had to go through all that. 